My life work is almost complete. Igor, bring me the brain. Yes, master. I will reanimate this blue screen corpse. Here's the Lepard's brain, master. Oh my god, Dr. Hackintosh, what are you doing? We need more power. You're creating a monster. This is crazy. You can't play God. It will destroy you. Yes, it's a lie. Wi-Fi? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Box. I'm Reichel. And this is Apple Hacking. It's a special episode brought to you by Two Smart Guys Productions. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, today we're going to be covering how to install uh, Mac OS X onto a Dell Mini 9. Mini yes. Yeah. So you can put some nice leopard skin on it. Um, it's pink. <laughs> My wife wanted a little laptop that was pink, so I said, if you're going to get a laptop, we're going to get you a Mac. And she said, well, how much are Macs? And I said, they're about a thousand. Yeah, like three or four times more expensive than a Mini 9. <laughs> so anyway, It's a good way to get a cheap Mac. Yeah, it's a good way to get a cheap Mac. Here's the process. It's not too hard. Go Try buy a legal copy of Leopard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, checklist for things that you'll need before you install OS X on your Dell Mini 9. Number one. Dell Mini 9. Okay, number two. A USB DVD ROM drive. Because the Dell Mini 9 is too small for one of those newfangled DVD drives. Yeah, and who needs them? Yeah. Except for to install Mac <laughs> OS X, which is item number three. Three. You need a retail copy of Mac OS X Leopard. Not one of the ones that comes with somebody else's. Yeah, not one <laughs> that is included with a laptop or a Mac Pro. Don't use those. Yeah, it's not for legal reasons. It's because they just don't work. Yes. <laughs> and then finally, number four. You will need to download uh, an ISO image called the Dell Mini 9 1233 boot. boot CD. Yeah, and we'll have a link to that in our show notes. Yeah, and that, that emulates the EFI boot process of a Mac. So. Which is necessary to yeah. use it on a PC. So... Plug in your USB DVD ROM, insert the 123 CD, and boot off of it. Boot off of it by hitting zero on your, your, your Dell Mini 9. Okay. And then you'll get to this boot prompt, and then at there, there, push enter, which will give you a list of the bootable devices on your Dell Mini 9. At this point in time, go ahead and eject the 123 boot CD and put in the Leopard DVD, and then at that command line prompt, Type in the hexadecimal code for the USB reader, push enter, and it will start booting the Mac OS X install DVD. Then it starts to install like a regular Mac. The key difference is, is you're going to have to format the drive like it's a brand new hard drive. Okay, so to do that, you click on the utilities menu at the very top, go to disk utility, then select the, uh, the hard drive. Make sure you select the GUID partition table there. If you select anything else, it will, it will not, not work. <laughs> you can go ahead and give it a name. Apply. apply. You should be good to go after that. Yeah. Uh, just go ahead and select the hard drive to install <laughs> to. <laughs> <Hold> the option. <laughs> Click continue. And go over to customize. Because the Dell Mini 9s are solid state, you want to remove any unnecessary Very components. Components, yes. Which is languages. Any printers you're not going to use ever. Yeah, and that, I mean, that that's a good couple of gigs right there. Yeah, depends how fancy you want to get with fonts. You might want to take them off. <laughs> then so, your computer will reboot. Okay, but you still have to have the 123 boot CD in there. Right, so when it reboots, you're going to have to eject the... The Leopard DVD. And insert the boot 123 CD. Okay, so we're booting up the 123 CD again. Push enter. You know that you get to the list and type in the hexadecimal code for the first hard drive. And then at this boot prompt, type in dash F, which will force the uh, the kernel extension cache to be reloaded and before you push enter eject the 123 boot cd and put in the leopard dvd again and then after that you go through the usual setup process for mac os x for the account 
preferences and and then after that are you good to go well then you can use the mac as long as you always want to boot off of the 123 cd okay so what do we need to do next well you need to install the efi emulator but before we do that we have to you have to have the latest version of mac os x so you need to download and install the combo update but if you have a 16 gig hard drive you need to free up some more space so which tool do you use for that well monolingo is monolingual lingual lingual I'm barely <laughs> single lingual. <laughs> which is a, a utility which will remove uh, all the uh, localization for other languages and it clears up like a couple gigs, yeah. five, maybe more. Enough to install the, the, combo, update. the combo update for myself. Now that, you've <laughs> now that you've run monolingual, you can install the combo update. Okay, so we'll have a link to that in the in, show notes. In the show notes and then okay. just restart your Mac. Yeah, but don't install the update through the Mac software update utility. Yeah, in, in, in the future. <laughs> Restart. Make sure you have the 123 CD in there still. Boot off the hard drive just like we did last time and force it to reload the kernel extension. So now you've got the combo update installed and you're able to install the Dell EFI installer. Okay, what, what, what does this do? Well, this is a, just a specially made package that installs the Chameleon EFI bootloader. Okay. And a few other common utilities that make it all of the components work. The, on the Dell Mini 9. On the Dell Mini 9, the kernel extensions and things. Okay. And you were saying before, if you you know would like to change one of the settings or install or uninstall one of the components, you can always run this installer again. Right. So you can run this as many times as you want to. It, okay. it doesn't really hurt anything. Um, run, I'd recommend just going with the default settings the first time around, and then you can play with it. If you want to hook up a second monitor to your Dell Mini 9, you want to install, have the check mark for install old mirror-friendly drivers. But but there's they're a little bit more glitchy, so it's kind of a... So if you're just using it with the one screen, which may be kind of limiting, you get the better graphic drivers. But more than likely, you'll be hooking it up to a monitor. There's also uh, the, the ability to... Um, do a two-finger scroll, which doesn't really work too well. And uh, you want to disable Hibernate because it doesn't really work at all right now. Yeah. Um, and, oh, it, yeah, so just click install, and then you don't need the 123 CD anymore, and you should be set. Okay. It's that, uh, that simple. That simple. All right, woo, we're running Mac. All right. And it's... Working. <laughs> Unless you we update. Got, yeah, we got we got sound, we got a webcam working, we got wireless, we got Ethernet, we got all these things working on this little mini nine. Out of the box. Out of the box. We're having issues though with some standby stuff, but like, that was because of the EFI loader you installed. You patched it that way. Yeah. That's his bad. Well, it, it, we'll work on that later. And then there's also some multi-touch hacking that it's kind of it's a little rough around the edges right now, but it's actively being developed upon so it will probably get better in the future yeah so you know get yourself a new mac for under 500 bucks or even 200 dollars yeah. yeah 200 well you get a still got by leopard no oh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah yeah um oh yeah so if you like this show check out more of our stuff on twosmartguys.com mm -hmm. subscribe to the feed yeah the slash feed slash feed um, all that other fun stuff get help on our forums are we still saying Netflix? Yeah, we can still say Netflix. Get a two-week free trial, Netflix. Slash Netflix. <laughs> Slash Netflix. All this stuff's linked on our website. You can get DVDs of our previous shows if you want to help us out. All that, all that fun stuff. And uh, it's, you know, like one in the morning, so we're, we're not as enthusiastic as we should be. We should have had some uh, caffeine before we did this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, see you guys. Night, guys. There's your enthusiasm. <laughs> this has been a Two Smart Guys production. Here you go. <laughs> 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 I want to.